goodbye. Okay, you can take my Lambo. I'll put on a tight show. You sure you can handle? We be faster than Django. Okay. Yay! Yay. Yay. <laughs> we are at the Casa de Tyler. Yay! Congratulations. Congratulations, thank Tyler. Yeah. Congrats, Tyler. You yeah, made a horrible you. decision. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> best in this city. So, Gabe so got we away. Got, yeah. at the office, Tyler? Yeah, uh, it's not completely set up yet, but uh, this, I think this room will be podcast area. Nice. <laughs> oh, spot. oh, my God. So Adam, nice. what are you doing? What? Oh, I had this. Good lord! By the way, everyone, <laughs> just have to show us off. So we have these amazing microphones, thanks to Tyler. Yeah. Listen, how amazing my voice sounds. I sound <laughs> really sexy right now. <laughs> <laughs> only in your head. Yeah, pretty much, and maybe only to Megan. <laughs> <laughs> Megan's watching, and she's like, "No, <laughs> <laughs> no, not, not so much." <laughs> Oh, yeah. mousetrap! Nothing. Ha I just didn't do it today. Throwing shade. That's all. Good well, because so we took Stephen to the track today, and mm -hmm. since I was wearing a helmet, I didn't do my hair because it would have just uh, the helmet would have messed everything unacceptable, up. Unacceptable, Adam. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> you can't fire me. That's actually true. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. Oh, hey, Supercars by the Sea. Good to see you again. It's been like a, you haven't been on a few, yeah, it's been a few while. times. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. The big head or the small head? Ooh. Mm. Yeah. Well, I don't want to go oh, there all What did I miss while I was gone? I was just yeah. putting oh. laundry in the dryer. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the concern. So, dude, oh, yeah. it was yes. uh, it was a legit storm. Um, it was crazy. Yeah. There was three or four tornadoes that hit the area. I think it was yeah. four. One wow. of them was like, a two mile. miles from here, yeah, a mile, mile and a half, here. two miles south of here. The Pretty Home Depot. Good. That was the Home Depot that Home I picked yeah. your, your yeah. key thing up from when you yep. closed on your house. Dude, so we're all like watching it live on the news and like we're like, oh my God, that's like really close. And yeah. we're seeing cars flying. Yeah. Shit. Everyone see that car? The, no, sorry, the truck. Yes, your Chevy like, truck. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Chevy, the commercial. Chevy truck that gets flipped over multiple times and also it gets uprighted. And then, and then he just driving. drove off. Dude, you know, well, the best just, part was yeah. that they played the, the Like a Rock song in the background while it was happening. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's epic. Yeah. He was on the news today. He's 17 years old. He was driving home from an okay. interview at Whataburger, and apparently some truck uh, dealership up in the Dallas-Fort Worth area is giving him a new truck. That's, nice. that's awesome. Hell yeah. Him. That's super cool. <laughs> Dude, I mean, talk about pissing yourself. I mean, oh yeah. I mean, yeah. He walked away with wet scary. pants on that. 
Oh my <laughs> god! Like video. that's that's the scariest footage. Code ever. Brown, we got a well, Code Brown. Well, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> what was super funny is that we were like literally unboxing stuff. Uh, my dad and I were sitting outside watching a storm, and the wind stopped. And my oh, dad's yeah. like. Yeah, in Iowa, that means there's a tornado nearby. And then all of a sudden, Adam's texting me. He's like, hey, there's a tornado like a mile well, from your house. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, well, look at that. It's a little unusual because typically we don't get that many tornadoes in Austin. Like, it's yeah. very unusual. We get hail. Like, almost every spring we get hail. But tornadoes are uncommon. So, like, you know, we've been here 14, 15 years. And I think we've seen or, read, you know, like heard about, I think, like, I'm going to say this was, like, maybe the sixth tornado wow. in the yeah. area. So... Well, it's a good welcome to Texas. Right. It's proper, yeah. it's proper welcome. <laughs> well, welcome to and Texas. What was, <laughs> what was funny is uh, there wasn't even a tornado warning for that area. Yeah, no. Because when it happened, I was watching KXAN Live, which is our local news channel. Um, and they were like, there's no tornado warning here. And they were like, because they had the tower cam or whatever. They yeah. were like, there's a tornado. There's a tornado. They were like all freaking oh, dude. out. That was like the Super Bowl for the news. They oh, were yeah. like, oh, yeah. <laughs> they love it. You can tell, oh, you can tell all, the, all the weather people were all giddy about it, too. Yeah. It's oh, funny. Yeah. Dude, what was the damage? What's his name was all dressed up. He was all like suited he's up. He's like, I'm dressed I'm in. up, dude. Well, yeah, well. He's the best looking weather man there is. Yeah. <laughs> no, dude. What's that? dude no, Adam's got no. a man crush on that guy. Apparently. <laughs> What's that one <laughs> chick who's the the lady in Mexico? Oh, that does the green the, screen all the time. Yeah, and it's like it's almost. It, I mean, it is a meme now. She's like, yeah. it's so oh, it's so. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Every guy oh, yeah. here is like, oh, I've yeah. seen her. Yeah, yep. she turns sideways, and everyone goes, "Oh, sweet Jesus." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, yes. enough of that. Uh, but anyway, thank you for your concern, are we, girl. Are we coming in, guys? Some people are saying no sound before. I don't know. We are. When uh, I unmute, yeah, when I added. unmute YouTube, it's working. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're fine. Oh. Who's saying? We're oh, good. whatever. Oh, Tyler, how big is your new pad? Way too big. It is. <laughs> um, Yannick <laughs> Garcia. That's the name. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Not to judge. <laughs> yes. There, yeah. Sorry, that was very important. I had yeah, to interrupt no, you for that. No, it's very important. Very yeah. Important. Uh, yeah. This. This. Oh, uh, yeah. No house tour. Sorry. Yeah, I actually closed the blind enough so you guys can't see what's behind me because I don't need uh, YouTube people showing yeah, up. You don't need to show up here. So, uh, yeah, but yeah, way too big. Uh, but you know, it's it's Austin, so I took the first house that I could get. Great, pretty take, much, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, gonna take a few this years was, to finish This was that the uh, neighborhood yeah. in Round Rock that got hit. Oh, sorry, that's like really bad reflection. Yeah, yeah tilt it, tilt it. Yeah, there was there was bad oh, damage in Round Rock. Yeah, the drone footage of that neighborhood was pretty epic. You're like, yeah. holy crap. There was quite a few houses that didn't yeah. didn't survive. Same with Hutto. Hutto got pretty pretty wow. severely hit. It was interesting because like the other tornadoes, all the other like three of them or whatever, weren't that bad. But hmm. that one that was in the city was the worst. Weird. Whatever. And it went over the flyovers. That was and cool. It, yeah. And it knocked over the uh the really light tall pole. light pole. And a semi. It flipped over a semi truck. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So last year, the, last year, snow apocalypse. This year, the tornado. What <laughs> did, it, did it feel as bad? Like as no. So no. It didn't even hardly rain at my house. I, I deployed the caterpillar or the chrysalis yeah. as Megan calls it. I, I set it up. I'm like, okay, put it up in the middle of the day. Like let it sit all day. And then nothing, barely even rain. The oh. storm really only lasted like an hour and it was over. Yeah, it moved quick. Yeah. Not out here. When it finally hit yeah. us at midnight, dude, it was here for like two, two, Wait, two and a half hours. I'm saying really you're bad. way down in the way down in the hood. Oh, we are are in the hood. <laughs> oh, yeah. So how's the five to nine manual conversion going? Well, I was out at EAG USA today, and um, they're working on it. They're still trading the parts. So, like they've gotten the prototype parts in plastic. They're trying to get them into metal. Hmm. It takes a while. I mean, like, you know, it's going to take a while. So I told Art, I said, if you can make this thing drivable by my birthday, it would be the best birthday present ever. Nice. Which is in about two and a half weeks. So okay. I give it small chance. But it would be amazing. <laughs> it would be amazing. I will I will 
full on mouth kiss art. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> he might care. You heard it. Go, might on. Care. Go, Go on. Go on. Now that I have Adam's attention. <laughs> so yeah, Adam, Adam perked up done. when you said that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dan, with the car you have lately, tornadoes a few miles away, it will zoom you in, uh, in you or the Howard. Well, wow. so thankfully the Howard didn't get damaged. Nothing yeah. like no one we know got any damage. Um, yeah, it was. It was seriously uneventful for us. Yeah, it, it just rained here. There was a. It wasn't even hard rain at our house. Yeah. It was like hail. nothing. A little, a little bit of hail in the second band that came through, but it was. Oh yeah, the second, the second round was way worse than the first one. For yeah, us. it was hmm. weird. Anyway, car stuff. Yes. Yeah. Uh, car stuff. Oh, so I guess we can kind of disclose a few things because, well, obviously the California is gone. Yeah. Thank the Lord. I no soul. Yeah, we were super happy. <laughs> I mean, I was legit surprised that it drove onto the trailer yeah <laughs> that was so awesome like they, they just ram it up there or... no so the video today uh you can see it's okay um early earlier in the day we we're like oh um should like you know i should see if it actually can drive and so they it moved a few feet under its own power so the guy gets here to pick it up with the trailer and i'm like yeah, I'm like, this is on you. Like, I literally stood back and I'm like, hey, it's not my problem, man. It's not my car anymore. I'm not going to even touch it because I don't want any liability. Yeah. So it's on you. And he's like, oh, like, do you think you'll drive up on there? And I'm like, I don't know. Give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly because I'm like, that'd be awesome if it doesn't. I see the wheel fall off. <laughs> right. So he's like, okay. And he like starts driving up on the truck. I'm like, holy crap, it made it. Wow. It was pretty impressive i don't think you could do that with an open diff i think so who do they who, who do they make a deal with because insurance so, paid you out right so right? insurance paid us then we chose not to buy it back yeah. they actually sold it the second we signed the papers they already had a buyer and they sold it wow That's so it, it sold pietro, to else. pietro told me that it was a viewer from the channel that bought it right the guy oh. actually saw it on the channel and then hmm. bought it salvage you know yeah. how much so i do people? i do but we're not going to disclose it it's okay. you know it's one of those if you're like, that guy who bought the california slide into our inbox yeah yeah, yeah. Let us know. <laughs> if he wants, to, <laughs> he wants to let us uh be able to disclose that information we can but yeah. uh, it's well not... i would just like to know who it is that got it what oh yeah that'd be cool too with it yeah well, they apparently told the insurance that they're going to try and like fix it up and, and hmm. get it running again, which yeah. I was like, good luck on that. All, all the yeah. power to them. Yeah. 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 Hey, it can be done. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe. <laughs> I mean, but yeah. Some minor frame damage. <laughs> you know, whatever. But, minor frame damage. Yeah. <laughs> Show me frame yeah. damage that isn't minor. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I always look at it this way. Like, I you really don't want a salvage supercar like it is so hard to sell one yeah that you just don't want to deal with it oh look who's joining us yo man it's ben. Hola. Hey, ben. speaking of <laughs> um of salvaged vehicles and everything like that oh. there was all oh, the time i was in coming. insurance yeah. there was only two times that people nope. keeping a salvage title made sense oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't like any of those. What were those times? Yeah, it's too small. Uh, one of them, it was a guy owned a farm, and it was an old F100. It was before it was the F150. Um, and so we couldn't get any parts for it, and all it needed was a bumper. So we had to total it right. for that. And he was like, oh, I'll just drive it on my farm. Hmm. And, then, and then the other time, it was a guy who got into an accident while drunk driving, and it was a Harley Davidson edition um F-150, and we couldn't, Ford stopped making the flames that go down the side of the truck. So we had to, we had to total it for that. And he got the, he got like a check for like 12 grand and got to keep the truck. Nice. And the only thing that was wrong with it was it didn't have the flame stickers on one side. Yeah. That ass. That's I was going to say, I'm okay. I'm okay with a salvage supercar. If you're buying it, intending it to just drive the wheels off of it right. and not whatever it like a track car wanted. or something yeah well, or, no, a track or, car or just you're gonna put in so many yeah. miles on until it falls apart yeah and i'd want to yeah. always ask for pictures before the wreck so you can see like what was yeah. done and if they have any receipts or anything while they were working on it is always good but if you're yeah, trying to buy it to flip for us no. it doesn't make sense yeah <laughs> we're not doing salvage cars right. no 
<laughs> no, because no one. It's so hard to sell supercars. Period. Yeah. Like with, finding the right person with the right. Well, money. the big thing is most people finance car supercars for the most part, and you can't finance a salvage title car. Exactly. <laughs> it's hard enough to sell a car that's got an accident on it. Yeah. 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 Look how hard it is to sell a Ferrari with an accident. Just just an accident. Even if it's like super insignificant, suddenly yep. no one wants it. It's like, you know. And that's the thing. You, if you look at how easy it is to total a Ferrari, it takes so little damage that yeah. if you have one that was an accident and didn't get totaled, you know that was a super minor accident. Like it right. literally was a fender bender. <laughs> so, so, Well, look at uh, the other guy who shall name nameless mr Spaghetti. there he is there he is and all the accidents <laughs> his supercars have been in pietro we were just talking you guys about... have had all my supercars we we're just hey, talking pietro, about look what i have under my hat <laughs> <laughs> hair plugs yeah, yeah. <laughs> it does actually look less hair pluggy today Dude, <laughs> hair plug it's my fucking hair we're bad <laughs> Uh, yeah, after the roots take hold, it's your hair. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, I did, I did see the video of uh, Hoovy's 458. And I watched I was that just, too, yeah. I cringed the whole time because he said so many things that are that wrong. wrong. Yeah. I was like, that's not true. That's not true. That's It's like you're just repeating the same dumb Ferrari myths. Like, granted, okay. though, granted, though, for 100K, you, oh. you can drive the wheels off that thing. Dude, I, I would have bought that for 100K. If, if, you stomach, if you can stomach the salvage title and the shit wrong with it, which is minor stuff, that's an awesome. Oh, oh yeah. No, I would <laughs> rock the hell out there, of it. For there a was a time. white 458 Spider on um, on that used Ferrari trade group on Facebook for like 150000 with a Aperta front bumper on it, like a carbon fiber front bumper. Ooh. It had a salvage title, and people were just pissing all over it. I'm like, dude, oh. that's... Seventy-five thousand dollars less than right. it would be. So yep. quit if you're gonna drive it. Buy it if you're not gonna drive it. Don't piss all over yeah. it. Again. So yeah. I have a bit of funny thing. He said it might have been the cheapest four five eight ever, and I actually helped a guy buy a four five eight for less than a hundred thousand dollars. Less than call his bullshit out. I should have. Yeah, you should have been like, dude, you're lying. So you're lying. the guy on the video. It actually, again. it was awesome. The guy found this crazy four five eight that had been stolen and recovered. So it had a, like a rebranded title or whatever, yeah. but it wasn't, I mean, it got obviously messed up. Like when they stole it, they beat the hell out of it, yeah. but it, it was otherwise mechanically fine. No check engine light. Like it was yeah. like a lot of like cosmetic shit. Right. And so the dude reaches out to me. He's like, you think I should buy this? I'm like, well, it is pretty much the cheapest Ferrari 458 ever that runs and drives under its own power. And so he's like, well, what if I sent it to Josh and had him inspect it? It was actually here. Uh, it was, I think it was in San Antonio or um, I think it was in New Braunfels. Anyway, so Josh checks it out and he's like, here's like the 85 things wrong with it. Here's how much money it would cost to fix it. And the guy's like, great, I'll buy it. You know, cool. it's like, cool. And I'll start chipping away at these things wrong with it. And over time, I'll have a new car. Nice. Basically. Was it a was clean like, title? Well, it was the, the stole, you know, it was recovered. Oh, time. oh, yeah. You said that. Sorry. Yeah, that was the only thing wrong with it. But, I mean, it drove fine. I actually drove in it. It was like, okay, well, whatever. I think he got it for like, I want to say he got it for 94. You know wow. what we should do? Wow. It's really cheap. We should start a, or make a video and title it like, so-and-so YouTube channel is lying about the cheapest <laughs> 458. Just like Let's start a big old war. Yeah. Shit, shit on everyone. everybody. Yeah, yeah, we're we're just gonna be like, oh, everyone's lying to you. Uh, oh, there, there he is. There's Lotus Esprit. He's like, he knows those guys. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, like I get it. Like it, it gets views. Yeah. that's his shtick. You know, yeah. it's not it's worth. It's fun. curious here, it's, Adam. It's, it's, then it's close enough. I, I had, I had more. Finds the car cheaper than he says he's got the cheapest. Right, one. It, it, it's inevitable. But... Right, right. No, the only thing I drew, I had objection with was he said a few things inaccurate about the four five eight. They weren't anything substantial but there's a few things that were oh yeah he like said oh like the tens and or like pre-13s they all caught on fire and, and blah 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 and they all had transmission yeah. issues i'm like <laughs> false false you know it was like there was a recall on the the fire issue and the transmission actually is not a big problem it's very rare yeah. but whatever like just dumb shit like that he so. said that the previous owner rigged up the to release the uh 
glove box, but that's a standard feature. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, he like put in this string. Yeah, I'm like, oh yeah, that comes from with the it. factory. Yeah. <laughs> like actually, that's a real shit. Italian Ferrari shit. It is right. There. It is legit Ferrari shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Anyway. Oh, oh, Ben. Huh? That's right. Oops, hold on. There Ben's not gonna make it 75 days. Oh, I'm gonna. I, My I, wife is doing that now. too. Oh yeah, there we go. Hell yeah. Is there a thing for that right now? <laughs> yeah, what's yeah, that? there is. <laughs> is it? Hmm. Well, yeah. it's not right now, but yeah. I'm like four years sober, so get on my level, losers. <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> he just threw down a gauntlet. Like we just had our fourth kid. There's, so long there's a lot more. Than I'm like five hours seconds. sober. <laughs> Jesus, kid. How recent? recent. Yeah. <laughs> St. Patrick's Day. Oh, nice. Oh. oh, yeah. I was just thinking, you know, when when your California first got totaled, when it first got hit, we were all like, "Oh, it's gonna take like, we'll get the check in in a week or two. And then everyone was like, no, it's going to take months. And it ended up taking a little over a month to get it settled. But the funny thing is, it really wasn't your insurance so much as just the damn DMV. That was mm -hmm. the big problem, right? The DMV took forever. To get no, my, it, yeah, no, my insurance is fantastic. Actually, Yeah. Um, the guy who did the vehicle appraisal, like the vehicle specialist, He's a, he works for my insurance company, but he also does like other, he's like third party, does other insurance companies too and kind of helps them. And um, he said out of all the insurance company he deals with that mine is one of the better ones. I don't, should I plug them or no? Sure. If you like them. Yeah, I do. Um, they're really good. So it's Erie Insurance. Uh, I, listen, I was a Geico guy for like 16 years and then I moved to PA and switched to Erie and everyone's like switched to Erie and they're, they've been fantastic. And, you know, uh, the DMV in PA is weird. So they'll Ferrari and Ferrari is weird too. So mm. Ferrari releases, like releases the liens electronically. And so when they release the lien electronically, they send it to the DMV saying, Hey, there's no lien on the car. So what Ferrari financial, uh, so then what, uh, the DMV does then is cut a uh, cut, cut you the, the, the title. But the problem is there's a glitch so that when, if Ferrari or any, um, financial service doesn't pay a certain fee which i think it's like 58 dollars the the title will come out with you as the owner and the lien holder so you <laughs> own your own car and you owe yourself money it's 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 so it weird. makes no sense but that's how they do it well, it seems like you should just be able to sign it over to yourself then on the lien release line saying i release you myself you can. Uh, you can and that's how and that's how i release the title to the insurance company speaking hmm. of that they stiffed you like 300 bucks on your car because they said More you than didn't that. Have More than that. <laughs> no, no, no. We got that back. We got that. Oh, you did? We yeah. got that. So originally it was um originally they had said it was 121 and change. And then when I looked at how they itemized everything, I, I was like, well, I do have the 20 inch diamond wheels and I do have cruise control. So they're jipping me out like eighteen hundred bucks. Yeah. And I told the guy and he went back in and just gave it right away, gave it just gave it oh, to okay. me. So we ended up getting 123 and change then plus tax. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a, so certainly a Porsche is on yes, high on the list. I would like to do yeah. a GT3. So there's one problem. Mm. We started looking at Porsches. It is really hard to find a Porsche that's undervalued because, you know, we can't buy a Porsche that's yes. at retail price because then we yeah, just the lose margin, money on it. The margins are not there on the Porsche. No, <laughs> it's, it's tricky. Mm. And the thing it's is, like, I'm not, it's not that I'm car. like, right. It's not that I want to like just do Ferraris. It's just that the channel has like we've gotten a substantial number of inquiries of people saying, hey, buy my car. And so we go, OK, well, we need to make money on the car. So here's how much we can pay. And they all want over say, retail. <laughs> right. Yeah. The first the first conversation is always like, oh, I want to pay. You know, I want this crazy number. And we're like, yeah, that's not going to happen. And then it's like, okay, well, what's a realistic number? And we're like, well, here's what we can pay you because we got to make something. Hey, oh, I Dan, I can sell you this car for $40,000 in cash today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's partly oh, my dude. Can we go and do donuts later? Possession dude. is nine tenths of the law. <laughs> yeah. Okay, That's so a little bit, a little. Uh, no title, no title. Clean, uh, real quick. Inside no title, no title, no paperwork. It has to be <laughs> yeah. <done>. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Matt, 
That is actually uh, Carrie's car. Yeah, <laughs> it's still here. It's at yeah. his garage. Yeah, I, I um, had it like done, the PPF done on it and ceramic coated and stuff. And nice. um, I'm doing wait, waiting for Dan uh, for the exhaust to show up, and then we're gonna throw the exhaust under it. It's gonna nice. <laughs> <laughs> White dude. You can get a new set of tires for you too, Carrie. Dude, he's you're gonna get in serious shit. I don't want to face the wrath of your wife. That sounds horrible. <laughs> I'll just spit the forty thousand with her, and she'll be happy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good point. <laughs> There's ways around that. So Ben, fifty k to rent out Coda for the day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think a weekday full day is like fifty grand. I don't do it. I can't afford that kind of stuff. Yeah, I but like get a big experience. group together. How many yeah, people so, yeah. will they let you on let on the how many cars on the track for 50k? Unlimited? Well that's the thing. If people are doing a private rental, they generally don't want the track crowded. So they yeah, only right. bring in like 20 cars and go oh, twenty five hundred dollars yeah. a piece or something, you know? But well, unless it's edge addicts, then they fill it up. Well, but that's what I'm saying. Commercial <laughs> groups, edge addicts, chin track days, they do weekend rentals. It's a little more money on oh. them, but they bring in yeah. two hundred cars. That could be an interesting uh, idea. Yeah. The there's, there's so little money to be made and so much liability. I've I've done the yeah. math. There is so <laughs> much to be made. like you yeah. have to sell out every event to make five grand in a weekend. You know, you have yeah. to sell it out. So no thanks. But yeah, no, no. I I've looked deep into setting up a track day company and it's not worth it for me. <laughs> yeah, no, no way. The insurance has just got to be a nightmare. Oh, dude, it's so, such liabilities. My God. Mm. No, thank well, you. Well, and if you if you crash and spill oil or coolant on the track, you're liable you for that for too. Wow. By the yeah. square inch, by the yeah. square yeah. inch. <laughs> yeah, that's the that horror story of the yeah. uh, the Viper that took out like a hundred feet of the uh, arm wall. Uh, well, and mm -hmm. It was like the charge was like three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Well, Adam, like that. that's why you have an umbrella policy, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's where you're just like, sorry, Coda, I'm bankrupt. Like, don't know. They, dude, I wanted to get back out on Coda so bad, and then I heard what the absurd fees were if something like that happens. So, and honestly, now at this point, I'm scared to go out there. <laughs> uh, Adam, if you get track insurance for your car, uh, car Open Tracks Track Insurance has a liability coverage as well, up to a million dollars. So, like really? the damage you can cause to another car or the track, it Ooh, will that's, and it's great. That's Just don't crash like a guy into the barrier. It's That's like insane. six or seven hundred dollars though for a weekend. Dude, yeah. Have you seen the so video? So effectively, it doubles your track day cost. Have you seen the video where there's the uh, Porsche 911 GT3 that's brakes got cooked and he yeah. plows into it, a yes. Pagani? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, that Monza. Oh, oh. oh my a, god! Out of everything you could hit, you had to hit the Pagani. Right? Oh, oh my god! I think yeah, having that Monza. Is Monza great. Yeah. The Porsche driver seemed more rattled than the Pagani driver. No, a Pagani. If you're just driving not, a Pagani, you're, you have you don't that you can just go buy another one. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you're gonna let Pyro Dan work on a car? Who? Me? I'm not a Pyro. <clears throat> oh, that reminds me, we gotta do that fire extinguisher okay. video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was All right, a little Pyro. Okay, yeah. maybe a little. They're gonna start getting mad at us if we don't do that video soon. Well, I mean, all it's Dan, all Dan wants to do is play balls of white stuff. Dan, yeah. I was watching those fire extinguisher videos last night. Oh, those balls. Throwing the balls, yeah. yeah and, uh, it's cool as hell. It's, it's a really like a, cool idea. A Malaysian or a Singaporean company? Uh, I think something like that, yeah. Someone from Kuala, Kuala Lumpur. Malaysia. Oh, yeah, speaking of Kuala Lumpur, I've been there. It's a great city. I want to go back. It was Where awesome. Where did go? I don't know. He just was like, I'm done with you. Bye. Pagani yeah, Billy, trash? Billy, oh. there's a Harris Hill Raceway. Hugh, which... we cannot be friends anymore. <laughs> have you seen have you seen one in person <laughs> yeah uh, they're more works of art than they are cars yeah. in some ways yeah yeah oh are there any other tracks in the area not familiar with austin yes there's yes. well there was three now there's two there well, was the harris hill is nowhere near on par with coda because coda is no. an fia grade one track and, and then actually you've got the uh canyon whatever Eagles Canyon Raceway is yeah, up by one. Crescent. Mm -hmm. Then there's Motorsports Ranch in Crescent. Then there's Motorsports Ranch in Houston. Yeah. A couple other options. I want to go do Eagles Canyon. It's probably like what, like five tracks within three hours. 
<laughs> there's probably a little bit. Uh, there's uh, probably a couple more. There's uh, Grand Sports Speedway in Angleton, Texas. Uh, there's a couple other small ones for sure, but I think nothing on par with Coda anywhere. No. I mean, in yeah. continental United States, you know. <laughs> yeah, none of them. None of them are as hard on your car as Coda either. No, there's other ones that are harder. <laughs> oh, really? Which one? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe uh, Road Atlanta going through the S's. Oh no, no, I'm saying yeah. I'm saying in the Texas area. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Texas. No. Yeah. No. No, I'd say Road Atlanta or even maybe Watkins Glen. Yeah. Going up that hill, you get a lot yeah. of speed going, and then you hit the bus stop. That's a hard braking zone right there. Like yeah. Daytona is probably hard in your car too. Just just all that bank turning and. You know, well, and you're at full throttle for the whole time. Yeah. Eighty-five percent yeah. of that lap, and then you're slamming on the brake. <laughs> that yeah. Tesla video is making the rounds. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty hilarious. Supposedly they caught the guy. Good. Yeah, good. Good. The, I mean, like, uh, man, YouTubers that are like doing this dumb shit just to yeah, get views is really frustrating to me because, like, I'm trying to like do a legit channel, and then I got I got to compete with that. Like, that's that's what I'm competing with for your attention. I ain't gonna win against a flying Tesla. Are you kidding me? That's why I quit <laughs> only fans. I mean, kudos to those dumbasses. But I'm, like, I don't. I'm not doing that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's so dumb. Oh well, I really like these microphones. I need this microphone. This your voice this. does sound pretty good. That's what See? I told him when I, I logged in. I was like, "Holy dude, crap, dude!" It sounds so much better than it does in real life. It's I, I sound like an actual human being instead of like a dumbass. It's amazing. It picks up the it picks up the lows really good. Yes, it does. Yeah, it, it makes me sound really like uh, like I'm a real man and not just like some yeah. dumbass. Like, do I, an uh, an uh, announcer. Yeah. Like, yeah, you always wonder why the guys on radio always sound so bassy and hello, my true. name is Ben. Well, dude, the worst <laughs> is the little little lapel mics. You, when we're clipping on the little wireless mics, uh, they sound terrible. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, I don't you know. think that they sound that bad. Well, it's it's not bassy like this. It does it doesn't it's not an accurate sound. You don't sound as much at, like Jerry Seinfeld anymore. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I sound like Jerry Seinfeld. What do you mean I sound like Jerry Seinfeld? No, I was just saying he sounds more like Jerry Seinfeld. Like Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> <laughs> What's with these microphones? Yeah. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay. Uh, no yeah. soup for you. No soup. No soup for you. <laughs> do you believe the Tesla video was planned? I mean, of course it was planned. There was Absolutely. like eight people videoing it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that they ever tried to they, imply that it wasn't. I thought there was two Tesla videos. I might be wrong in this, but I thought it looked like someone did a Tesla video jumping that shit, and then someone else did it. Yeah, and was like, I like can do it higher. Yeah. yeah, someone tried to. They were like, oh, let's go faster and be dumber. And oh, then they were. Idiots. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. So, 60, am I the only one? Oh, sorry. I, th I thought I read that as $65,000. A $5,000 microphone. Wow. Oh, that's, that's a cheap My one. voice would sound that's amazing. That's cheap. Yeah. There, there's some very expensive microphones in the world so oh, am yes. i the only one that thinks that if they spent their own money on the car they didn't hurt anybody and they're not trying to scam insurance out of it that there's nothing wrong with what they did not on a well, public road. They, they hit another car yeah it's on did a public road. car yeah, yeah. go do that on a on a uh, on a private okay so let's not all together. be hypocrites here then about doing <laughs> stuff wrong on <laughs> public roads all right yes, <laughs> living glass houses shouldn't throw rocks yes. no uh, look yes. if they would have not hit i don't the film it to try car, and get famous doing it you know yeah yeah if they would have just wrecked their own car i don't give a shit. i didn't yeah. know that they hit another car so that yeah. changes things for sure so, i thought they just destroyed their car when they the did dude it. whose car got whacked is like trying to do a gofundme and it's pretty bullshitty it wow. was like he's trying to milk no. it he's trying to milk it it was like come on bro like you're they like, well, but see, like his insurance will cover that if he is right yeah, collision exactly no, it will. 100% it will. If and he has the like, proper oh, coverage, yeah. He may have some bullshit story. He's got like a brand new Subaru Forester or whatever it is. So this was like... the video of him jumping at night, right? In the, like, yeah. The hill? yeah. I, was I, like, I didn't watch the video. I just, Damn. I just saw huh? a quick clip of it. How did he get so much air? Like, was, did they have a they going, like, Dude, they were probably going like 100 miles an hour sometimes. Wasn't it was San Francisco where the roads are like yeah. super like a, steep and they just launched off steep of hill. it? And they just crested the hill and just kept going. Haven't you ever seen uh, The Rock when Nicolas Cage and uh, what's his name drive the Ferrari all over and they jump through 
Like that's what it was, Gabe. Come no, on, dude, come on, the you book. got the wrong movie reference. It's a uh, uh, speed or whatever. It wasn't speed where oh, the bus can't go below fifty. Oh, yeah. And they jumped. They the jumped the bridge. Yeah, that was it. There was well, and they, they, they also Wood. did it in uh, Gone in sixty seconds. They jumped that's some true. cars too. Yep. That's right. That's right. So yeah. I had a huge crush on Sandra Bullock right. when I was a kid. Dude, Speaking she of, has an age one of my favorite movies. Speed, yeah, that was a classic. That was a classic movie. But that jump scene always bothered me. <laughs> well, they did that on Mythbusters, and they said that it was impossible. So yeah. it wasn't even real. Oh, shit, it was impossible. <laughs> yeah. Maybe so, with some of those, like, yes. JTO or whatever, like, jet takeoff things. <laughs> then it may be and clear. who walks around with canned food in a baby carriage? <laughs> oh, oh, when they hit the that was in yeah. speed, remember yeah. when they first started right. driving? Because she thought that she killed a kid, and he was like, Kill oh. She was like, It's cans. <laughs> it wasn't canned food, it was cans. She was like collecting cans. Oh, yeah, she recycling like, oh, homeless yeah. person. Yeah. Oh, whatever. It still wasn't a baby. Yeah. Oh, well. that was the vanishing point. point. Wasn't that the one where they jumped out of the airplane at the end with no parachutes? Is that with uh, John Travolta? No. Oh. Val Kilmer? No. no. Oh, wait, was it? Maybe? I thought it was the one. What was the one where there were a bunch of surfers that went and robbed banks? That was with Val. Point blank, right? It was point blank. Point blank. Point yeah. blank. That was with Keanu Reeves. Yeah. Point. Was he it was 1971? Hmm. Damn. I don't know. So, yes, uh, <clears throat> some updates talking about car stuff. Uh, the California is gone. <laughs> kind of this sexy place for that. That was amazing to see that gone. I guess uh, since we only have a limited audience, we might as well give you some other updates. The 430 that we acquired uh, a week ago is gone. Yes. But, everybody, if you still wanted to see DIY content, you will still get to see DIY content. Yep. Yeah, it actually ended up being pretty much the most ideal scenario we could have asked for, which is a friend of the channel bought it. And said, part of the agreement was, hey, I want to buy it, but I don't know how to fix all these things. And we said, great, we'll fix them for you. You just pay for the parts. And he's like, I'm down. <laughs> so he bought it, and he's paying for the parts, and we're still going to play with it and fix it. So that's going to be nice. the best of all the worlds. We couldn't have asked for anything else. Oh, what microphones are these? Uh, these are. I can't road, take Dan's sex after. hotline voice. I can't take it. Well, <laughs> you can't? <laughs> no, I can't take Why? it. Why? But yeah. Judd, next time you're in Austin, we can I, I can't think of anything sexy. Do another one here. It's like you're doing an ASMR video. Oh, dude, no, we get we get demonetized for that. Is it where you like could scratch the microphone or whatever, yeah. so people like? Yeah, dude, like if you ever go read YouTube's like monetization policies on ASMR, it is like explicit. If you do anything ASMR with anyone who's underage, oh. it's like straight up your band. It's like really no it's like do not pass go like yeah. ban wow i was like because on, on twitch like, they have like a hot tub section wait, oh no is asmr banned now no 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 but it's banned with children what do you mean like if children are in the video or if you're like yeah if you have children and you're doing an asmr video it is like you are really? not allowed. what is what is asmr Autonomous sensory meridian response. It's, it's right, where Dan. people like Dan, give it to us. scratch things. Scratch that mic, like, Dan. It's weird. It's weird shit. ASMR. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. You do stupid shit really do close to mics. Yeah. Then yeah. you'll have a good time looking. At there's it some overlap with pedophiles or something. So uh, I, think, I don't know. I I don't know but, anything about it. I just remember like scrolling through all the rules about like monetization. I got to that section. And I was like, Hey, Meg. What's AMS, ASMR? <laughs> She's like, you don't know what that is? I'm like, no. She's like, oh, it's blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, okay. I've never seen that shit. Yeah. Oh, Speaking of that, we're not shame here. All right. ASMR, no, I don't know. sensory meridian response or the pleasing sensations in the brains of viewers. So you yeah. can't please your viewers. <laughs> yeah, I guess. That's, kind of a, that's kind of a gray area then. Right? Yeah. yeah. It gets really gray really quick. Um, Meg is at home. Uh, we are at Tyler's house. Yeah. So Dan, see some Barry White. We are going to house. make love to your mom. <laughs> no, that's that's yeah, Chef. So, yeah, yeah. That's, that's not Barry White. That's all I know. I don't know Barry White. I'm sorry. This I is tried. weird. 
like yeah. weirder than normal, and that's, that's <laughs> a lot. <laughs> that one's just so Do you like awesome. it, Adam? Do you like it? Yeah, and we're only thirty nine minutes in. It's not. I don't like, dislike I don't it. it. I, that. <laughs> I am in love with the sound of my voice, and that sounding horrible. It's amazing. It is amazing. Like I just normally I listen to myself. Like trust me, I have to listen to my voice more than any of you. And when you're editing your own videos every freaking day, and you hear your dumb self talking, you're like, oh god, I sound like an idiot. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's not good. These will only help for so long. Yeah, I mean, you'll still be like, yeah, still sound like an idiot. No, it's, what's gonna suck is now I have to go back to my other microphone, and I'll be like, oh god, dang it, yeah. like shit again. <laughs> so I guess. Do we want to clue the people in? I guess there's like, we're only at 91. Might as well. So, okay. So there's other Give big, the people what they want. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So like, you know, you guys are like the dedicated. You get the inside scoop before shit actually yeah. gets out there. So today was a very fascinating day for us here at the NGS crew. Um, in the last 24 hours, we did four car sales. Mm -hmm. Or I should say four car deals. Deals. Yeah. That, wait, what was deals. the fourth one? Kelly. Oh, Kelly number one. I wasn't really the other three. Yeah. So the Cali, yeah, Cali's gone. That happened yesterday. Then this morning, the 430 was purchased, which was awesome. And then after that, uh, we may have gotten rid of the Super G and taken in a trade and sold the trade. What? <laughs> yeah, it was like, it was nuts. It all happened like, what? Yeah. Couldn't believe Josh it. is like, I'm a car dealer and I've never done this. <laughs> Dude, and, and, hey, so I love a four car you, day. I love a four car day. Right? Yeah. Dude, I, I was like popping my own collar. I'm like, dude, I, I, I have never done sales before, but so, I just crushed it. One thing about, about the car business is like you all of a sudden you have all this inventory, right? And you're sweating it. You're like, I need to sell some of these cars. And then one day, all of a sudden they're all gone. In the same day, yeah. and then you're like, "Shit, now I need to buy some cars." I gotta buy some cars. <laughs> yeah, now we're in that mode. Like, we need to buy some cars now. Yeah, <laughs> that's well, Martin. If any of you guys want to buy some, <coughs> oh yeah, we still look car. at that. No, so like the the Super G, uh, someone took a ride in it. Actually, I should say, drove it yesterday and <laughs> could not get over it. Yeah, won't and name so, who, but won't someone. name who. Someone we know. And so then today, that same someone was like, hey, I had this idea of how I could buy this car from you. And I'm like, OK, let's hear this. And he came up with this plan. And any of you who are savvy may have seen on another social platform a particular car that starts with a one and ends with an M that we were asking about pricing with. And the reason is because, huh? Was it a manual? All of yes. them are. Was, uh, all yes, of them are. Yeah. And so we were like, hey, how much would you pay for this car? And like 10 minutes later, power of the internet, I get a, uh, a DM. Oh. Oh, I want it. How much? And so that person DM you, they have your phone number. Well, text me, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Close enough. Text me. Just slide in, you know. For the YouTube drama, Adam. God, <laughs> just slid into my DMs, damn it. Okay. <laughs> Give it up. Sorry to ruin the illusion, my bad. Yeah. Anyway, it was someone we know. So hilariously, every single transaction was with someone we know. Wow. I mean, so I don't know if that's good out, or bad for our right, outlook for the future. Yeah. Super G obviously <laughs> is the one M is the Cali is not. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The Cali went to someone. Technically, else. the Cali also is with Pietro. <laughs> yeah, Pietro. Yeah. So it's like all four. Yeah. It's crazy. So yes, if you were paying attention, Jonathan Kid, uh, we are going to still work on the 430, even though we don't own it anymore. So that was part of the cool thing is our friend bought it, and he. <laughs> it was pretty funny. He's like, "All right, if I buy this, will you sit down with me and go through the computer, or like go through on your computer and just show me all the parts I need to buy?" And I'm like, "Sure." So we went through literally for like an hour and a half. We're like, you need this, 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 and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. And he's like, okay, do it. Yeah. <laughs> like, and, then, and then he went to check out and the computer messed up or the website messed up. And they had oh, to no. add the lost my entire oh, shopping no. cart. And I was no. like, oh, God damn it. And there was like 63 items in what, there. Was it no, it wasn't Recambi. Oh. It was another <laughs> site. We shouldn't. Don't bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, but it was pretty. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, so that video I think will come out Saturday. 
Nice. At least talking about the 430. And then the super G. So, yeah, Rich. See, mm. I, I guess I, a oh. good thing, actually, thank you for bringing that up. Thank you for bringing up that Richard was supposed to buy the Super G because it got complicated. And I don't think we ever filled everyone in on what really happened. And so, like, yes, he was supposed to buy the Super G, but he didn't. And so it kind of created this, like, okay, what do we do with it now? And I basically had to go to Richard and be like, hey, I need this gone. Like, I can't continue to have this car any longer. It's been here for almost three months. I want it gone. So <laughs> part of that like, was because of the building fire. He's still working out insurance. Yeah. Or whatever I don't, yeah. He just was like kind of up in the air. Yeah. You'd want no, to hold on to that. Look totally like, understood. Sure. Yeah. Like his, that, yeah. his situation totally made sense. But basically he's like, look, if you can get someone to buy it, let it go. And so that's when we started trying to sell it again. And then we had some people interested, a lot of tire kickers. It's it's a little bit harder car to sell because it's so rare. And so like it's a much more limited you know pool. If you were just selling a Gyarda, it would be sold in no time because you know everyone wants them. But the Super G is like, oh man. People don't realize that the Super G commands the premium that it has. Right. So well, yeah, unless they don't you pay, know what yeah. unless you know what you're looking at. You're like, why am I going to pay this much more but, for this one right. over well, that? But what I don't so understand is why the uh, Super G's premium is only forty or fifty thousand dollars. Oh, it's undervalued. The Sky my... is like a hundred, hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. Yeah. No, the Super G, is, I think it's way it's, undervalued. And it's for all the nice extra stuff it has, it's awesome. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a fantastic car. It's really, I, I'm thoroughly impressed with that car. It's amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. So at this point, we basically. I think we're back to zero cars in our actual ownership of the dealership because Richard's car is not ours. It's Richard's. So, uh, crap. It means we got. If anyone stuff. has a car they want to sell us. Yeah. yeah. Anyone got we're something? We're not full retail. retail. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Oh, there you go. Here's a good question. What's the fastest you ever had your previous F430 at? Um, the speed limit. <laughs> yes. No, yeah. That's bullshit. I've taken Five it over. off the track. I've taken it on the track or whatever. I've taken it places where you can go faster than speed limit. Mexico. Yeah. Mexico. I chased Adam on the track in Mexico in Colorado once. <laughs> on the track in Mexico in Colorado. Yeah. I think I think uh I think I've had mine up to about 168 or so. Yeah. I think we we probably did about the same, you know, on a track in Mexico in Colorado, yes. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, the Mercy yeah. Lago. So funny Adam, about- Adam just detailed it today. <laughs> yeah, 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 I did. The Mercy Lago still exists. The catch with the Mercy Lago is uh, it's in the dealership's name, but we didn't pay for it. So that's actually our friend's car, I should say. Well, our friend's money but, in that car. Yeah. But you still, yeah. you'd still for sale, right? Not yet. Well, I mean, if, someone offers, if someone offers yeah. enough money for it, sure, everything's for sale, right? But like the goal is still to do that car to, to you know fix the clutch and all that shit. Yeah. It's just that has posed a serious logistical problem. So the catch with the Mercy Lago is in order to do the clutch, you have to pull the engine and transmission out at the same time. Mm. In order to do that, you need access to a lift and a hoist. And you literally crane the engine out almost at 90 degrees and pick it up like that so where the hell do you do that like it's a it's a problem you need um, a forklift is what you need basically yeah. uh either a forklift or a chain fall yeah something Josh, like that Josh your shop not have that no he does but yeah. Yeah. do we want to go take it out there and consume yeah. one of his lifts and all that shit? yeah because then it's stuck there well, it's, gonna take, it's, gonna take, it's gonna take a while like it's gonna take us a while to do that car can you so. build uh some kind of a buck for it to roll it around while the engine's out so it's not taking up a bit <sighs> maybe i mean it still has his wheels no 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 once you pull the engine trans yeah. oh the rear wheels are gone wheel wheels are gone. Can you build oh. some kind of a cradle for it to sit on while the engine and trains are out right yeah, like what that, we did with the three five five. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah three five five. Yeah, if we can figure that out, then it's not as big a problem. Then we could possibly do it at the Howard. Um, part of me, Richard, just went. You could do what at the oh. Howard? <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? Part part of me is like, yeah, wait for the new garage. The catch is my new garage is probably going to take a year. Yeah, I mean, thank you for the five dollars, Mousetrap. Yes. To what, Dan? To put a lift in there? No, to build, build a garage. Yeah. 
Oh, you're gonna oh you're gonna build it because house. my you build a the, studio. the garage it's, it's a, the yeah. garage that exists on my new house is a three car garage but it's only got a ten foot ceiling. Yeah. So we're not gonna be. Yeah. You gotta split it up okay. and call it the garage and the shop. You gotta get past shop. the HOA. Yes. There you go. Yeah. And yeah. Meg's an employee now, so she gets to park in the garage huh. all the time. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> That's true. Yeah. Is there room for the lift in the new house? That's what I was just saying. Yeah. No, you can't. Like, there's no. I'm not gonna put a two post in the three car garage that's yeah. attached to the house. There's no point because you can't get under the car. Like, you can. You, I'm gonna put in a four post so I can stack two cars for storage. You could do an oil change or something, but I wouldn't want to be like, you know, like crunched yeah. under there. Like, uh, well, that's when you just yeah. raise it high enough so that when you're sitting on a rolly stool, it's at the right height. Right. Yeah. But like, I'm not gonna be. We can't be pulling engines out of it cars. Works, that that high. Yeah. Yeah. So Plus, if you put if you're a, if you put a garage, the shop, then there's no sense in doing work right in your yeah. garage because right. you're going to be set up for it in the shop. Right. And and uh, well, I don't know if Carrie's even still on, but um, the well, I guess that just gave the beans away. Uh, yeah, it's Carrie. Carrie kicked in on that mercy lago, and he basically was like, "Look, I don't care if it takes a long time. Like, I'm not in a rush to to do something with this car." You know, he's like, I just thought it'd be fun. <laughs> and it will so, be at some point. Right. Yeah. Exactly. I can't and, wait and, to drive that car. <laughs> well, and that's the thing is that type of car, if you buy it and it takes a year, so what? It just sat there and accrued. You know, it just yeah. became worth more sitting there. Yeah. So who gives a shit? That's one of the few cars where that. <laughs> well, in the current yeah. market, a lot of these yeah. cars are like, I mean. Yeah, but this, will, that, this car will do that whether it's the current market or the yeah. old market. So true. yeah. Yeah. Well, they no, I mean, that's not entirely true. They had been on their way down for a long time. Mercy but that's every car though. Yep, every sure. car. They've hit bottoms. Bottoms. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. And, and you know, like when, when the Mercy Lagos were like literally at like a hundred thousand dollars, you were like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Like a V12 <laughs> Lamborghini for a hundred G's like what kind of stupid shit is this? But yeah. 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 It is not a manual transmission. It is a F1. Yeah. Well, and and I think Tyrells did Harry's Countach. Yeah. So yeah, it it's, that was a hell of a video. It's yeah. an E gear, right, Dan? It's e gear. E -gear. Yeah. 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 Dan, so will you have to put, uh, build a a driveway to go back to the shop behind the house? Uh, depends where I can build it. Like I need to have the HOA approve it and all that dumb shit. And the one problem I have is, um, trying to make sure that the shop doesn't interfere with the septic, uh, field because okay. the septic fields on that same side of the house that I would yeah. put the shop. So part of me says like okay just build the driveway back all the way to the far corner of the lot and build it in the corner of the lot and i could build it as big as i want but i don't think the hoa is going to approve that They're probably yeah. like, no so i'm probably limited to like i'm i'm gonna shoot for a 20 by 40 but i don't know if they'll let me go that big go bigger imagine having to ask somebody else permission to build something on your yeah property. well you know what hey <laughs> imagine that my neighbors aren't like fucking burning their houses down <laughs> <laughs> you know my neighbors may be burning their house down but i can do whatever i want on my property so you know. take the good with the bad <laughs> uh, yeah yeah <laughs> no i believe me i wish we could find a property that yeah. didn't have an hoa i hate HOAs. so hard and i bought it, it adds a little bit of excitement because every yeah, time I'm the bad. sheriff's in my neighborhood i'm like <laughs> I'm like, oh, what's going on today <laughs> i've already done that i lived in a complete shithole in college and we dealt with oh yeah the neighbors getting arrested arrested all the time yeah. like, it's like is it a is it a weed dealer is it some like it was like meth like it's some excitement how many times we would sit there the, we'd see the blinking like the flashing lights from the <laughs> cops and like oh someone's getting busted again yeah. you know so we go out on the deck and we're like oh ooh, what's going on what's going on and the cops once in a while they'd be like get back inside and we're like oh shit, sorry <laughs> It's like, crazy stories oh, you, I'm on my property. Exactly. Well, <laughs> yeah. dude, we got to see someone get tased. That was amazing. Ooh, don't tase <laughs> was, me, bro. Don't awesome. tase me, bro. Yeah. Well, dude, he was so high on meth. He was like fighting it. It was yeah. awesome. Didn't you see someone die in there? Or like, I, <laughs> no. So if you haven't seen the video, okay. Quick, <laughs> quick story time. The, again, the apartment we lived in in college was a shithole. 
straight from the shitholes, like the bowels of hell shithole. And the neighbor bowels. below us, okay, we're on the third floor. The neighbor directly below us was a prostitute. Nice. And right. like a cool looking dude. prostitute or an ugly no. looking prostitute? No. Good looking or ugly? Not, I don't know how she, no, actually, I know how she made money. She did weird shit. Okay. Not, not one that you would call if you had a bad day. That's how Dan knew. That's how Dan knew. <laughs> no, like, okay. We were friends with her. We were nice, whatever. She was cool. Uh, we didn't care, whatever. Um, anyway, so one night, it's like a weeknight, and it's like 4 a.m., and someone just banging on our door. I mean, bam, bam, bam. And we're like, what the fuck? So we go answer the door, and it's the prostitute's friend who's also a prostitute. And she's like, oh, my God, he's dead. He's dead. And we're like, what? Who's dead? And she's like, come downstairs, help us. We're like, oh, shit. So like, we come downstairs. We go into the apartment, and here is our neighbor who's the prostitute, butt naked, on top of this dude who's also butt naked, and she's giving him CPR. And on the phone with like the paramedics oh, and shit. And we're like, oh, what in oh the world God. is going on? We're like, you've got to be shitting me. I <laughs> thought you were great. I thought you were going to say sh- the dude died on top of her and they got no, no, him no, off no. because no, he was so dude, They were on the floor. They were on the floor. <laughs> you're on Vin Wiki or something. This is, oh yeah. <laughs> Megan's, Megan's like, this story? This story again? I mean, How did we get here? So, so she's giving the dude CPR and she's all like, Okay, well, you know, uh, like we're, we're like sitting here in awe, like what in the world's going on? And like she's giving him CPR and whatever. And all of a sudden he like kind of starts coming back to life. No. And so I guess this is a thing when people are dead, or I don't even know if he was totally dead or whatever, but whatever. Anyway, he came back to and just lost control of all of his bowels. Yep. And I guess that happened. Like this is a thing. <laughs> And so, like, he shits all over the floor. It looks like slum dog. Seriously, it's like, so we're like, uh, we'll peace Jesus. out. And I'm like, I'll go out in the parking lot with Meg and we'll go find the, am- like, flag down the ambulance. So Meg and I are staying in the parking lot, like, what in the hell did we just see? This is, <laughs> well, this is we ridiculous. saw a naked prostitute with right, John right. CPR who then yeah. shit himself. <laughs> so, the, the, like, you know, a couple minutes later, the paramedics arrive and we're like, they're up there and, you know, we help them find the, the apartment. And uh, so, like, I don't know, five minutes go by or whatever. And our prostitute neighbor comes out and she's wearing like a bathrobe or some shit. She comes crying. She's like crying. She comes up to Megan. She's like, oh my God. And like hugs on Megan. She's like, this is the second time it's happened. (laughs) (laughs) I'm serious. And we're all like, the second. What the? Like, what? Uh, They're probably probably doing Coke or something as they're fucking. That's what we found out afterward. They were doing a bunch of drugs. The guy was some obese you know, old guy who's not used to doing any sort of physical activity. And here he's getting, you know, having, having a lot of heart, you know, cardiovascular (laughs) activities going on while hopping. What a hell of a way to, what a hell of a way to go out though. Right. And we're like, no, (laughs) the second time, the first time should have been a clue. Probably shouldn't mix the drugs in the banging part, you know, like just do one or the other. Well, my question is, is if they were on the first floor and you guys no, were on the second. third floor. Oh, okay. They were on the I was second like, floor. why did they go up two flights of stairs? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> they came up one floor. No, the, okay. the, the bottom floor was where the meth lab was. Uh, yeah, I can yeah. interrupt. We so lived above no. a meth lab, above a prostitute. There was a, so, no, actually, the meth lab was kitty corner. So it was meth lab, prostitute, us. And then uh, I think it was down one floor and over was the cocaine addict dude who was a riot. He was hilarious. Like, well, of course he, he was. He, okay. oh, dude, he was a riot. <laughs> he showed up at our Halloween party and he's just high as hell on coke. And he shows up and he's wearing a thong but he's got it on backwards because he's so oh, high. It's not like his stuff so just walking God. around. And I'm just so like, so was there one on each side? Yes. Like yeah. Yes. Yeah. But the, but the sausage was like bent. You know, it was like kind of curled up and like tall. Oh, well. It was hard. How'd you get the beads above the fake? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so like he shows up. He's like, oh, it's party. And I'm like, dude, Scott. You gotta change around your thong. Put he goes, oh, hold on. on. He just, <laughs> he just takes it off. Just does right there, right there in front of everyone. <laughs> right everyone. He's just like, I don't give a shit. And we're like, oh, oh Jesus. No. So, yeah, that was uh, that was our college apartment. It was awesome. Oh my god. Yeah. Is that the first place you lived with Meg? 
Yes, that was the first place Meg and I had together. And the reason we chose it, because it was like back in the day, it was $430 a month. We, I still remember that. And we were like, it's under 500 nice. in has a dishwasher. Oh, yeah. There is a dishwasher. That's oh, my good. God. That's, right. That's a sign. That was it. That was our one requirement. We we're like, oh, my God, there's a dishwasher. So it was Did you know that your future horrible. would have a 430 in it? What? That's Ooh. a sign. Your future had 430 in it. Oh, Normal oh, guy supercar yeah. was based on 430. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I dude, we even we were on the news because we called the because news of the backward, backward thaw or the no, the meth lab. The meth lab. <laughs> oh, because like the the apartment couldn't get the guy evicted. All right, and... YouTube, you need to find his video. Uh, <laughs> put it good, okay, yeah, it was WWMT TV or WWMT in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and it was probably what it must have been like. 2000, oh, 2001, maybe two, 2002, mm. let's just say that somewhere around there. But it was, it was a long time ago. Yeah. Anyway, we, we, we called the news cause they couldn't get him evicted and, and the news did a story on it. And that's when the police came and arrested his ass and we got to see him get tased. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Anyway. We should probably talk about cars again now that that was a, yeah, I don't know. That was pretty that awesome. Was pretty that, was, that was a good story. We've, yeah. dude. I tell you, I, man, we've had some stupid shit happen in our lives. <laughs> oh Lord, yeah. I can tell you about the, uh, the time that I was pledging a fraternity, and, uh, yeah, I guess I didn't I, know about that. I pledged a fraternity because my brother was. He Did was. Did you a, kiss was, a dude or something? No, they do make you do, like you know. It's like, oh, they're not supposed to haze you, but of course they haze you. Yeah. And yeah, so like, well, yeah, then. there was this, so like there was this one kid whose father, grandfather, great, great grandfather, and so on had been in, in this fraternity. Like every, he was like, his lineage was like one of the founding yeah. members of this fraternity. So like it was the kid's goal in life to be a member of this fraternity. That's all that mattered. Like you are going to be in this fraternity. And he was kind of a chotch, like no one liked him. And I so I've heard that word in a while. A long yeah, time. right. <laughs> So the best part was like everyone was like, "Oh, we're gonna take advantage of the fact that he's gonna do anything against his fraternity." <laughs> <laughs> of course, oh, as you do in college, you know. Yeah. And so they take him out, and they're like, "All right, here's the deal, dude. You need to." Is it, uh, I remember that uh, Dave Fami was the guy's name. Dave Fami is like, "Hey, here's the deal. You need to." He's like, "You would do anything against this fraternity, right?" And he's like, "Absolutely." He's like, "All right, oh. I need you to strip down butt naked, and run around <laughs> the entire." block and come back here and he's like huh yeah uh i don't know if i can do that he's like you just said you'd do anything and he's like well you know how like if you were gonna jump off an airplane you're like i'm gonna do this and then once the door is open you're standing there and you're like i don't think i want to do this and dave Fami goes well if that's the analogy you're gonna use don't make me push you <laughs> <laughs> so he did and it's not a small block this was like probably a mile Plus, block. it was very large. It's been a long run. It was yeah. a long run. Yeah. There was a lot of nakedness in college because, that, you know, we were going to University of Michigan back when they had the Naked Mile. Oh, in the so winter. Like, huh? uh, well, so that was uh, yeah. the spring semester, the last day of classes before exams started. It was a tradition created by the lacrosse team. They started at this one intersection. They ran across the entire diag and ended at the cube. And they did it butt naked. And it became a thing. That, like everyone wanted to like participate in and so they like you would create a human wall a single file lane for people to run down and so people would strip down butt naked in this intersection and then run down this lane like a wall of people just on both sides and you just haul ass and make it all the way to the queue the problem was then the internet came along and everyone started videotaping and yes. publishing on the internet yeah. so like the last year i was there which was one of the last few day, uh, years that it happened it was actually kind of cool. Like the big beefy football players and stuff would walk around. And if they saw you with the camera, they would literally just walk up and be like, whack and slap the camera out of your hand and break it on the ground. And then they'd be like, come on, bro. And you're like, oh shit, never mind. Like, you know? <laughs> like no one's gonna mess with that guy. But still. There yeah. you go. Brick stringer yep. junk. Yeah, like old school. That was yep. a good yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> ah, you stories. I, I got a lot of them. I don't want to give people want to hear all these stories. I do. I still like. Oh, hey, Megan. How's my voice? It's pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's happening when you get home. Yeah. No, definitely. Yeah, she's telling me to go to the guest bedroom. She'll be like, she'll be like, 
go talk to the baby very softly so he falls asleep. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, it's your turn now. I took care of him all day. It's accurate. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I didn't ever do the run. I knew people that did the run. That was the worst part when you're standing there in Austin. So when you know runs by, you're like, oh, I, I know that person. No, that's, <laughs> that's the best part. You lock eyes with them and make it as uncomfortable as they want right. it to be. True, true. The only other problem is it's like it's like a 90-10 ratio of dudes to chicks. So oh, it's yeah. Like, it's a sausage fest for sure. It is. It is. The worst thing. That's oh, why I did it. I still remember this vividly. <laughs> it looks so bad. Someone rode a bicycle through the, the you, know, you know it's one person lane the bike can't fit he clips someone with the handlebars goes over the handlebars and butt naked across oh, the ground and i was just like oh and the whole crowd was just like oh <laughs> <laughs> some road rash you won't oh dude like, that was a dumb idea bro <laughs> oh. oh god yes okay cars again oh. back around to that thing yeah so as of this moment, we need ideas for another supercar to buy, potentially fix, and definitely sell. Anything <laughs> American, maybe? I mean, I would like a ZR1. I would do a ZR1 or a Viper. I would rock one of those. That'd be badass. Um, oh, hey, yeah, that's a, uh, so yes, the hail protector thing actually is rated to be able to hold up to like, I don't know, like 50, 60 miles an hour or some shit. So. It, it, here's the thing everyone's like oh it's not going to stop hail and blah blah it's it's pretty serious like once it's inflated you can literally lean your body against it and you can't easily touch the car yeah. so it's gonna do more than the like moving blankets i saw people oh i know i love that out here. So stupid like, <laughs> yeah a viper would be fun i finally got to fun. drive one i i i'm going to do a review eventually on awesome. omar's video omar if you watch i need to drive your car um but yeah I need to do a I've Viper. I've never driven game. a Viper. I want to drive one. I, I mean, driven by the guy with the ACR. Oh god. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I really, really want to try. Oh, that. Sean, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, mind, I wouldn't mind doing a GT350 Mustang. Ooh, yeah, that would be cool. That'd be sweet. Like, if we can cool. find one that actually can make some money on, let's do that. Yeah, I'll take our new one. New one. A, a new one. Yeah. I. I mean, I'm not. I don't think we should do classics because. No. No. no one like it's not the channel it's not our well audience. and on top of that they, that's, they another, sell, they, that's another market where it's really small right? you have to find the right person they take forever yeah. to sell yeah i figure like it's really easy with any of the supercars because we have a supercar audience and i figure certain cars that are kind of like sport fun cars that are really you know like enthusiasts who are watching the channel would appreciate and potentially buy no lotus ever GTR, I'd do a GTR. Basically, you can just say no British cars. Ooh, do a Z28. Damn it. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I already learned that lesson. Right? <laughs> no, someone just the, just this week, someone was like, hey, you want to buy my Aston Martin? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got one on the lot. I, I gave him a super low ball, and he's like, oh, it's too low. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Well, that's what I need it to be to make money. Mm -hmm. You know, sorry. Oh, after the tires are installed, I can review the piece. Can I nice, nice. review it, Doctor? Please. Sweet <laughs> mother of God. I, hopefully, I can get a ride after the tires are installed. Yeah, I get I would a ride. When are you sweet. supposed to get the car back? <laughs> so, yeah. it, yes, well, I guess Jacko's still in Austin. He's putting new tires on in Austin, and then yes, yeah, have you been, okay, yeah. yeah those he's tires still trying are to get soft. on Coda. Yeah. yeah, he's still trying to get on Coda. I don't um, know how these guys feel about an S2000, but I've had like five of them, and I love dude, those cars. An S2000, oh, I freaking awesome. love those cars. Yeah. Sweet. Oh no way! You were supposed to buy that Viper that got totaled. That was a pretty unfortunate story. Oh yeah. Yeah, they were actually, believe it or not, JR Garage wanted to buy our California, and we were trying to make that happen, and unfortunately, the, the numbers just didn't work. The numbers didn't really work, and then the insurance was. It was taking so long to get the title and shit that I was just like, no. Because they were actually, I guess they were in Austin um, like a week ago or something. I don't know. But I was talking to them, trying to make that happen, but couldn't make it happen. It's too bad. It would have been cool. I would have liked to have seen like a YouTube channel try and work on that car. Yeah, Metal awesome. driven to ask a good question. But uh, when buying a new car, 
on when buying a new car what are the top four or five features that should be considered for, for interesting interesting. i mean are you talking like That's a daily driver or yeah. are you talking like a sports car it would depend on the car too or who's yeah. purchasing like like you got to figure out what what is your purpose for that car. If it's a sports car, obviously the requirements are completely different than like say the daily driver or. And when you say sports car, do you want a grand touring sports car? Or right. Do you want like a mid engine supercar? Right, because all those things do definitely have certain features. Like I'll tell you right now, living in Texas, every new car I buy will have an ass cooler. Is <laughs> a requirement? You must have. And the first time you 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 might think oh, it's not worth it, but the first time you get one, you're like, oh no, how have I lived life? Yeah. <laughs> no, you have to have an ass cooler in Texas it is a requirement. That is like I'll take that over almost everything else. Yeah. 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 It wasn't even hot today. And right? my butt was sweating on the track. Yeah. yeah. Of course. <laughs> okay. Uh idea for show. Supercars and movies. Sent to a woman. St. Pedro. Kuntash and Cavalry Run. I mean, I'd love to have a Kuntash, but Hey guys. See you, Pietro. Later. Later. See ya. Yeah. He's not feeling it. Bye. Get some hair. Yeah, plugs. it's not not feeling well. Sorry, guys. No worries, dude. It's all good. Better. Yeah. And uh, I can't buy the uh, Ferrari and scent of a woman because I refuse to own a Mondial. <laughs> Why do you Come refuse? On. That sounds like such Man. a strong word, dude. You, you Have try, you tried it? Try selling a Mondial. Yeah. Look how many are on the market right now. No one buys them. They've been on the market. Like you see the same Mondial on the market for like a year. <laughs> yeah. Is it one of those cars though that in ten years people are going to realize like Ooh, this is actually no, no, they won't. Have you it's driven it? For every seat. You know what they say? Yeah. It actually drives better than the three hundred eight. Oh, hmm. it probably does. Because it, it came out it later. Look, it doesn't look as good. It looks terrible. Yeah. I mean, right. what do they go? For? They're like 30, 40 grand, right? Some are like 40. I've seen them. There's like, I think there's one or two on the market right now for yeah. about 40. They hmm. look brutal. Like, it just, but it's like, it's a 308. It looks like it would be the and, same. It looks like it would look the same if it was driving in forward or reverse. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah you got to follow up. So, a sports car, not supercar. Okay. Sports car. So, a sports car, not even a supercar. What are the top? five things that you need on a sports car hmm. i mean i guess we're assuming like not gt so we want like yeah. uh like i don't know e46 m3 or something like that or like a i don't know i have an e46 m3 it's pretty awesome yeah yeah i mean i have an e46 m3 adam fun factor top features. <sighs> it's hard to say because like was it features or just things like they said features, right? Okay. I, I didn't. I was it remember. features? I think it was features. That's a tough question. Yeah, like, I know, right? Because like, like things. Well, it's like, a personal question. Like every, yeah, everybody's like, going like, to be different. Yeah, there's obviously like you want to have enough power. Yeah. You want to have enough braking. You want to have enough handling. You want it to have the type of transmission that you dig. Yeah. yeah. Be manual exactly. or, yep. You know, and I mean, I like, let's be real. It's a sports car. It's got to look cool. Yeah. And you know, Sound like good. a drivetrain for your area, if. You and the, are the potentially going to have snow or something. You don't yeah, uh, not want. You know, yeah, move to Texas. Yeah. And the good thing about sports cars, you can ring them out more on the road, so you yeah. want to be able to like use all of it, whereas you can't usually with, with supercars. Man, a Mondial in a nineteen ninety. <laughs> oh, here we go. Mondial had three hundred horsepower. That's pretty good for nineteen oh, yeah. ninety. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's, yeah, that's fine. legit. I mean, it's still a, like it's still a Ferrari. It still handles like a Ferrari. It still drives like a Ferrari. It's, it's just, just ugly as sin. That's it's just cool. it's not the worst Ferrari ever. What's the worst four hundred i? Ferrari four hundred i. Yeah, I'd be I'd be embarrassed if I told people I had a Ferrari and then showed them that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would be pretty embarrassing. Yeah, right. You're like, look at my Ferrari key, and then which one's yours? Uh, that one. <laughs> Dude, it looks like a Honda Civic. Right? Yeah. It came with an automatic transmission. Like torque converter automatic transmission in a Ferrari. In 1990, so it's probably a four speed. Yeah, yeah, I think it was a GM transmission, if I remember right. Or yeah. something. That interior is like the whole car is yeah. ugly, but the I interior. Know, is, do you think, yeah. do you think yeah. if it wasn't a Ferrari, it may be kind of cool? I mean, the I 400 see. you could get with a V12. Like, I can see that being a cool car to take to Radwood. Yeah, you definitely. Know, okay. Silver with red there. 
direct. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. There, but I, would it's just, it's out of that I could get on board with that. I think that's, Dan, I think that's a myth waiting to be debunked. No, I'm not dealing with those. That thing oh, has Miserini. No. <laughs> Miserini yeah. okay. You got to understand something. Like, we're in the business of trying to make money trying and not lose money, our man. ass on the car. Well, I'm not, my YouTube channel is not so big that I can well, buy a car do for content. and do it for content and lose <laughs> money in the car. And I have to make money in the car. That thing has two big ass oil filters in the valley of the engine. Oh, dude. It's like, yeah. Have you seen the size of the uh, Testarossa oil filters? They're like, yeah. no. <laughs> like as as is, it like, is it like a half gallon jug of milk or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. They're like, oh, the the engine holds uh, ten liters of oil, and the oil filters hold another four liters of oil. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, they're, they're huge. Um, but yeah, we we have to buy cars that make money. Like that's unfortunately, like I can't just. Well, I mean, we could go buy like a two thousand dollar beater. That would be fun. Yeah, that'd be fun. Does Ferrari acknowledge that they ever made this car? <laughs> I mean, I guess they do because they still make parts for it. I could see if it's in that book. So, oh, yeah. The Grand Sport. I actually Wait, drove what? that. What? Oh, oh. Before the I Maserati bought, GT? So I, 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 I checked that out and drove that car before I bought the 430. I think so. And on paper, it looks great, right? So it's the same engine, so slight, slightly detuned. So well, with different crank. Right. It's a different, different crank, different crank. heads. And um, yes, please. <clears throat> It just, uh, it just didn't have it. It wasn't, you know, and then you have the Maserati, you know, electrical issues and stuff like that. It just, it was, it was very, very lacking, at least the, the one that I drove. So, you know, yeah. somebody, somebody who doesn't know that the 400i was an actual Ferrari might think that this was never a Ferrari and somebody just oh, no. slapped Ferrari badges on it. Like the car. <laughs> They'd be like, stop, stop pulling my leg. It's not Did you guys Ferrari. see that, that uh, or kid car at that Rouse car show that had Ferrari badges on it? That kind of, yeah, yeah. So oh, ugly. Oh, oh, it's too bad. Uh, too bad. Um, Pietro left. I would. So our friend is buying this. Um, he's buying the uh, what is it? The little uh, Fiat four hundred or whatever. No, the Fiat. A a one twenty-eight. Oh, yeah. The little Bart, whatever. Yeah, and, it's um, five hundred, but it's he's buying car. the one that was owned by um, Sam from Seen Through Glass, which I know some of you know. And he was all like, "Oh, I should put like Ferrari badges on it, kind of as a tongue-in-cheek, like, ha ha, it's a Ferrari." And it's like, and I just like saw the pictures. He like mocked it up. He photoshopped it. And I was like, "No, you are not doing it's that." It's a Chrysler. <laughs> <laughs> Love like, of God. I was like, I mean, do not do that. It's got Please the Abarth badge if, if it isn't a Bart, right? So yeah, exactly. I'm like, it's it's got its own merits. It's yeah. cool in its own self. Don't try to is, turn. Is it, it an Abarth or is it just a 500? No, it's a it's a, a Bart. They actually sound pretty good, I think. Yeah, is that he's coming good. to the U.S. or is he in London? Oh, uh, he's in London. He's in the U.K. Yeah. Did he send me? Oh yeah, here's a picture of what he wanted to do to it. Oh, and Ferrari will probably send him a cease and desist if he does. It's that. way too far oh. away. You guys aren't going to yeah. see it, but whatever. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. You guys don't care. It's I don't car. care either. It's a car. It's, red. it's a car. It's got a Ferrari badge. It's on. got Ferrari stickers on it. Why should it? Yeah. What's terrible. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Okay. You should do a 360. Jocko said that. Oh yeah, no. 360 is yeah. super high on the list. Um, in fact, Adam's we're dying. For we it. have a line. Yeah. We have a line on one right now. We're yeah, we're on. we're looking at one right now. We think it's like a turnkey doesn't need a thing, mm. so it wouldn't be for content. It's a three sixty. There's no such thing as a turnkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on now! <laughs> no, they turn the key for like a week. Dance and salesman. Then, no. <laughs> sales mode. <laughs> retail done. ready. It's retail they, ready. That's the thing. It's getting the the yeah. service done right now. Done right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. F one transmission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the manuals are pretty expensive. Yeah. For even those are like 150 now for a OE that's 360 insane. manual. Do you think that's that's worth it, Dan? If you're looking for a manual, like if you couldn't swing a manual 430, which you're going for like mm -hmm. two 250, right? Mm -hmm. Would you? Would I get a 360 instead? I think it is. No, I'd rather buy a 430 with the F1. <laughs> I'd take the three. I'd take the 360 with a yeah. manual. No. All day long, you are wrong. No, you're just wrong. Josh I would buy. I would buy the 430, save my pennies, and then do the conversion. Yeah. Josh is still trying to justify the 360 he bought years Look, after he I, sold like, it. He sold it already. So <laughs> I, got it to. I, got I would fair. buy another one. I would buy Did another one all day long. I loved that car. I used Did to you? have one. 
I used to have a 360, and it was great. I yeah, loved so it. I shouldn't have sold it. I sold it to buy an R8, and I regretted it. <laughs> yeah. come? Judge had a manual gated 360, and he's driven my F1 430. Let's see what he says. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's yeah. Hear what do you think, mm, Judge? Yeah. But, I mean, I've driven all of it, all of the above. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. They're all great. How about that? Yeah, they're all fun. <laughs> they all have their own. Why are we lying to our viewers? So Josh, <laughs> oh, uh, Jesus. There he is. Josh, what about going to the R8? Did you? Hey, why didn't you? Not helping us sell that damn car. Where did you move? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't hear you. Hoovy's hey, garage. Here. Here. When you move. <laughs> no way. Is that really? Is that Hoovy? Is that really Hoovy's garage? Is that is that literally Hoovy, or is that like uh, someone spoofing Hoovy? No, it is. Look -alike. It's a lookalike. It's no, coming. it's a, it's certified. It's got the. It it's got the part. Yeah. Oh, I can't see. Oh, we're on the restream thing. Yeah. So no, I'm, I'm looking at the YouTube screen, and that's it. Well, that's cool. That hey, Hoobie. What's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> he yeah, must have. Yeah, his phone, his phone so. was probably like. <laughs> literally. You literally. Said that you <laughs> said this, and you should go like literally. It's literally Hoobie. That's yeah. awesome. Well, welcome. You can send welcome. you a link, Tyler. Yeah. So uh, I guess we should probably clue you in since you're here, Mr. <laughs> Tyler. Um, we were saying that you made some statements that were inaccurate about the 430 earlier in your... 458. 458. Sorry, 458. Sorry, we're just talking about the 430. The 458. No, we did not call him a liar. <laughs> so everyone's like, everyone's going to make me look stupid now. No, Dan's a dick. He was like, Hoopy, he called you a liar. No. <laughs> I said we should make a video yeah. to start yeah, yeah. The internet yeah, exactly. drama. That was, we were like tongue in cheek, like, ha ha, let's poke fun at other YouTubers. And we know how terrible that goes. Because, Lord, <laughs> as, as Hoopy can attest, people are so kind in the comments on YouTube videos. <laughs> so. Well, Steve's wearing the shirt. Uh, people are trying to buy it. Oh, yeah, so exactly. Like, That's the right shirt. Should we start, start the bidding at 100? <laughs> Dude, yeah. <laughs> hey, Hoobie, hey, if, if you want to sell that thing, I'll totally give you 95000 for it. <laughs> Cash money. <laughs> yeah, we'll buy it. I would literally wire you the money tomorrow. <laughs> I'll come pick it up. <laughs> that would be awesome, dude. I would totally rock. Am I the next Steve Simmons? <laughs> <laughs> what he didn't What he didn't tell you is he doesn't have a title for it. So, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, right. No, he's like, is that? It was on consignment. I swear, it was. It was good to go. like, <laughs> Dude, do you realize I still I had someone email me today saying that they like just realized they got that. screwed. They oh, really they just that. realized they got screwed by CNC. I'm like, uh, it's been a year. Yeah. Oh, what are they doing? Uh, damn. I just, uh, it's amazing how deep that damn thing is. Hopefully goes. they were driving it at least. Mm -hmm. No, the, like, they, they, they did a car on consignment. The car got sold and they never got paid, period. And like it just disappeared. Wow. And they finally like contacted CNC. And like, the number you have called has been disconnected. Well, no, <laughs> like it was like when they answered the phone, they're like, you need to talk to our lawyers. That was it. It was just like, it went straight to like, nope, talk to our attorneys. We're not talking to you. It was a voicemail. Uh, no, I think it, I don't know. Well, they didn't specify. It was just in the email. Well, because if it is, I'll call them right now. Oh, go for it. I mean, <laughs> I can, we can well, pipe them in. Can, yeah, right. It's well, I, it would go straight to voicemail right the now. The website's like, completely out. <laughs> hey, so. Travis is here. Hey, Travis, what's up, man? You are squatting, squatting on the domain. domain. <laughs> <laughs> squatting on the domain, not in the domain. It's, I don't know if you want to do that. <laughs> That's kind of funny that Hoovy showed up. I'm sure you're a busy man, Mr. Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah thanks for joining us. For yeah, yeah, yeah that's we, cool. We yeah, we've we've said hi to your buddy before. Uh, Car wizard. Car wizard. Yeah, he's been on here before. It's pretty cool. It's always interesting when like a, a big YouTuber shows up. Oh, and um, um he was here. You met Frank of ours. He was here yeah, once. Yeah, yeah we've had Shmi here. The CNC days. Yeah. That'd be really. You know what'd be really cool? It'd be really cool if we could actually get like. Cinema -like? three or four. Oh, you want to call in? You Dude. can uh, you can mix them in. Yeah, we can make well no, I could just send the link send to the restream. here. I'll okay. just send them the restream link. Oh, yeah. I need your email or something. <laughs> um, hey, <laughs> hey just you know, put it in the number's been disconnected. Adam Adam, coordinate the emails with Hoovy. No, no, just uh email me Dan at normalguysupercar.com. Dude, you know, you're about to get a billion emails now. 
<laughs> Everyone already knows yeah, my you know, it's on the website. It's like yeah, yeah, they already know my. I know, but when you Ferrari. when you say it on a live stream though, FerrariRecovery.com. What, what? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Post the link in the comments, please, That's... for that. Yeah. Have everyone join. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> All right. Oh. Just let me know yeah. when you send the email because my phone's not there. There it is. There it is. <laughs> oh yeah, go there. Yeah, go there. <laughs> that would be no, I don't dude. Did you change the song that was on here? No, it's the same song, isn't it? Oh, I thought you put a different song on there. I didn't know that you put that song oh. on there. I can't remember now. It's been like a dude, the thing's been there for what two years or a year and a half. No, I guess it was last year, wasn't it? Because it was when we went to drive tanks. So that was a year. Was ago. it? No, yeah, yeah. it was set up well That's before that cool. because oh, Terry that? brought the banner down. Car, no car motors. <laughs> car, come on. No, no car. car. <laughs> she be like, <laughs> cash, no cash. <laughs> credit, no credit. <laughs> Man. Oh my that God, is, these pictures just, are amazing. What is, what is like it? I still, to yeah, this day. That's a great hoop. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I, to this day, look at that whole situation. I'm like, how did it ever get, get that, far, that big? That yeah. Yeah, it's like, and, and why on earth? No, like, how did it fall on me? How did it, like, yeah. I'm a nobody in the world of, like, you know, media. It's your in, lot in life, Dan. No, <laughs> I, I am not becoming, people have, like, you realize since then, oh, hey, there he is. People have since then <laughs> sent me all this crap that's like, hey, you should go after this uh, dealership they scammed me and i'm like i'm not becoming the the dealership vigil ante that's not my goal yeah. like i'm i'm not going to go out of my way to start pissing we off did it with the fish. florida one too but so that was, that yeah. was involuntarily like they yeah. they did that they did you. that to themselves that was a self-inflicted gun wound to the head like i was like giving them every shot i was like yo all you have to do is say you kept my money uh you kept my deposit and sold it to someone else that's all i have to say i'm giving my money back and that's it that's all I wanted them to say. And they're like, nope. Well, and, and nope. the best thing you can do is now that you have your own dealership is not treat people like yes. that. Yes. And right. you'll have repeat customers. Yeah. Yeah. It's And that was the stupidest part about it is if the, oh, there he is. I heard a bleep. Is it really? It is really hoovy. Wow. I'll be damned. It yeah. works. Yeah, it, it works. works. Hey. hey. Tyler, what's up? There it is. Hey, hey, it's there it is. It's a thing. That's awesome. It's a thing. It's a thing. It's, uh, it's real. Awesome. It's real. Welcome to the internet. Yeah. It's real. It's a green screen. I'm not buying it. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like he's got like a like mask on, right? You know, it's like <laughs> it's real. Does it taste, does it taste like espresso? <laughs> if it tastes like espresso, it's real. <laughs> So sorry to interrupt your no thing. no problem yeah I, I guess I was wrong on the transmission part they are just always bad and no <laughs> yeah yeah they're always crap they're always crap no the, yeah. the big thing was uh, that little pull string that's that's factory that's a factory the button doesn't work movie. though I know yeah yeah no but the button's extra sticky oh of course well that's that's yeah. a given they come all like that yeah, yeah. that's like that's like that's the a that's the flavor seal after five years it turns sticky you know I, it's real. I definitely thought of you when I bought it because I know you were going through your Super Legera stuff and uh, uh, you wanted something like this, but in Super Legera. And, oh, uh, damn you. I would have. This came up. I'm like, oh. I know, dude. I have to admit, I have to admit, like, from, a, from a content perspective, someone was like, did you see Hoobie's 4 8? And I'm like, no. What 4 8? And I go look at it. I'm like, God damn it. That would have been be awesome. <laughs> and I was like, son of a bitch, under 100 Gs? You so yeah. much. I have to say, there's like this weird, like, like jealousy thing you get you're like god damn that bastard got that cool car oh i'm so I'm so the wrong guy for this car and you are the right one but i am <laughs> no nah, you're, you're you're way more entertaining <laughs> I, I look forward to seeing all the the, oh, yeah. the joys it gives you because so I, I missed the video but what are you what are you going to do with it Hubie? what's the plan uh i not Keep lose it. my ass on oh i don't know i will well, <laughs> be fixed, obviously it's it's slammed to the ground it has all kinds of little issues, but the drivetrain solid for 86,000 miles. Uh, you know, we're going to go over it tomorrow with the wizard and things. But uh, interestingly, there's not a single clip or kind of like whatever would hold the body parts on. It's like, oh, they just vibrate around. There's, there's, I don't know what's holding the part together, to be honest with you. But uh, like, I, I don't know. I, it's what we're going to discover. Apparently, there's a, a part of the 
something that was wired in, and they actually literally used aluminum foil. Um, what? Nice. <laughs> around the fuse? Yes. Oh, no way. The so, fuse? They're, oh, they're, that's they're, old school. Like, that's scary. That's cool. <laughs> oh, that's legit. <laughs> Wow, so, you know that that'll be the next uh, probably Wednesday or whatever when that video comes out. When it and was wrecked, was... how did it get wrecked, or like what damage was it? Uh, uh, so right? sideswiped by a car and thrown into a ditch, and <laughs> oh, we had side boy. damage and uh, you know minor, really minor. How's Easy. the paintwork on it? Does it terrible. look pretty good? Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it, looks, it looks good in the picture, but our four thirty that we bought looks great in the pictures too. But it looked horrible. A little of further away, it'll look better. There we go. Okay. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh go. yeah, you got to make sure you got the ten foot mark, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, let's take a look at this thing. It's not bad. It's it's okay. I mean, it's glossy. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's glossy. Is, it, is it Russell Corsa? Oh, yeah. So oh, is it's it like a little, mm, you know, there's a nice crack right there. I mean, I probably just leave <laughs> yeah. it alone, just enjoy it. The, you oh, know, yeah. Oh yeah. Up like that they is all do. The ultimate driver's car, man. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know the seats. It's I haven't seen this kind of red Daytona seat thing, and I thought that was really cool. This is really Dude, cool my laptop. Mine, mine had, the red, had the red seat. That's Dan exactly said. what mine had. Yeah, Although, yeah, okay. yeah, but I didn't. My uh, center console was yeah, black. your dash was black too. Yeah, yeah, my dash was black, but I had yeah. the red Daytona seats with the black striping. It's fantastic. So yeah, it really makes it pop. I'm pretty smitten with it. Yeah, it's it's all good. Yeah, okay. you need you need. Let me know if you want to get hooked up with a exhaust to make it sound like a real F one car because we could get you at cost. Oh. No problem. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that's interesting. Dude, I, okay, if you go, I'll send you a link to it. If you go watch the video of uh, Richard's four five eight with the Klein, yes. it's, the it's Klein. Just, that is the best sounding four five eight. It's, it's like a half a notch below the three five five with the Capristo Sound three. It's so mm. good. We've had several people contact us and say we want our car to sound like Richard's car. Yeah, so. <laughs> it's legit. It is awesome. so good. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, I was actually thinking four thirty and then manual swap. That was sort of my next Ferrari. I was sort of looking for. Oh. You know, we can do that no. too. Yeah. I mean, we can. Uh, he knows somebody. I got. Yeah. I got a guy. Yeah. Yes. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> actually, uh, I maybe yeah. So, the conversion things is a little weird because like we're the demand is so excessive that we just we're like we can't give them away. We can't like because we've had multiple YouTubers like, hey, I want to do a conversion. I want it for free. And we're like, no. <laughs> we're like, why are we, we going to give you this for free? We don't have a marketing problem. Like we have too right. much demand. I, but, I wasn't I mean, asking for free. I was going to say, no, no, no. I don't know. But I'm saying I could probably get you hooked up because, okay. you know, it'd be fun, if nothing else, just to see what you, you know, see what you I, think of them. Red with oh, yeah. gold wheels. Mine's getting converted in a month or awesome. in 15 days. Congrats. <laughs> yeah. Not that you're counting. Not yeah. That I'm counting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was there today um, and checking it out. They still have, I think, 43 cars there, 42 right. cars. Yeah. It's just ridiculous. It's, wow. It's yeah, but they had the CNC machine running today, so that's awesome. good. Yeah, so. well, I I appreciate your content and what you do for the community, and oh, I am watching. I've watched a lot. I definitely was more of the drama queen, just watching all the CNC stuff, just like oh, oh god, <laughs> oh man, <laughs> yeah, that's what, uh, what a I shit show. It just doesn't end. Like, yeah. I wish I wish I I don't know that whole thing is it's like a mixed bag, right? Because it was cool to get that exposure but at the same time it was like it was so heartbreaking to get that number of phone calls and emails from people that are like literally mm -hmm. desperate they're like i'm missing hundreds of thousands of dollars and this scumbag took it from me and it's just like i can't and do then, shit like i'm and a, then you oh, interviewed the devil himself and it's dude, like, that was hilarious. Right? that was when great. he when he agreed to do the interview i was like no this didn't just happen <laughs> <laughs> i'm like is he that dumb Oh yeah. my god, this is gonna be the best thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> and then of course everyone gave me shit. They're like, oh, you didn't even like ask him any real questions. Like, I was just gonna let him talk. Yeah. And that's yeah, all I'm mean, gonna do. Yeah. And he said enough. <laughs> it's, yeah, awesome. I, I I didn't understand his argument very well either. I think it was something yeah. like, you know, I shouldn't fold and I shouldn't go to jail because I'll work to get everybody back. But even though what I did was terrible, I, I don't I mean that was yeah. his argument, I guess. I don't I don't know. But and, and then I was like, it it's not COVID's fault. But then he's like, but it's COVID's fault. That, <laughs> you know, I was just like, dude. Uh, he's he's right. the only shop that went under because it was about two months of it being slow for the car business, right? Yeah. And it exploded. exploded. 
Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Every other car shop on earth is like having record breaking years. Yes. Yeah. And well, then it's because he, he had done that fraud for years before yeah. that. So even the expansion couldn't save him. Allegedly. 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 So <laughs> yes. Careful. Yes. Careful. Here, here I go. <laughs> then I'm going to get hit with the. Dude, I already got, I already got <laughs> the season. Oh, no. <laughs> that was the best oh, look season. Look at this. The movie lawsuit. Oh, no. oh, yeah. I know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. It, it's it's funny because I, I someday when all this like finally unfolds officially and something like conclusively happens and I can actually talk about it, I just I'm dying for the day that I get to do that and be like, okay, here's what all the shit I heard, and like I've got so many like moles and people on the inside giving me information. I have like former employees, I had current employees, I wow. have people that I can't even say how they're related to him because it's like. I don't want to like get them in trouble Ooh. and it's like they just like feed me all this crap because everyone knew that he's a scumbag like all I the people around him were like oh yeah this has been going on for a decade i need the no. private dirt later then yeah, <laughs> well, dude, <laughs> dude it's come on out put, it, put it put it behind a paywall or something like chatterbait or yes yeah whatever paywall <laughs> thing you can do only fans i have no idea what this is. sorry i've never been there before. <laughs> post live we'll do a post live after oh yeah the post live yeah we're actually if Hang you want afterwards. you know what we're basically done it's 9 35 we could close it down and then do the uh post yeah. talk so yeah. stay on, also, don't, 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 just, on i'm it. sorry i can go i'm ruining no 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 no, no, no we're stay. saying if you want the dirt i'm saying stay if you want oh, the dirt okay. gotcha yeah, yeah but i'll just i'll wind it down uh well anyway we'll, we'll wind it down just stick here and we'll close it down and we can keep chatting <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, on that note, then I guess we're going to wrap it up because it is well past our normal time. So thank you yeah. everyone for joining All us. Right. And uh, yeah, yeah, we'll do this again next week. And uh, oh, you. hey, look, they're wandering around. All right. Anyway, we'll see you guys uh, next Thursday. So thank you all for joining us. We appreciate it. He's like Everybody. an old man looking at a scratch on the side of his car. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a Corvette. Don't get a diaper. <laughs> all right. Thanks, guys. Cheers. <laughs>